we look at a chapter called sound so in this particular chapter we are going to learn something about sound wave sound what is sound and how the sound reaches from the generation place to the listener place receiver place and how the sound propagates everything we are going to look at so sound travels in the form of a wave so first of all we should know what does it mean by a wave so wave can be defined as a disturbance disturbance produced in a medium which transfers the energy which transfers one region to the other region without the actual movement of the particles particles in which the disturbance is created so here it's very easy to understand that is a disturbance produced in a medium as an example we'll see the medium here suppose a disturbance is produced over here let us say this has to be carried to the other end without disturbing the actual positions of the particles that means the disturbance will be transmitted to the other region in the form of a wave and this is called as the wave and here i am just writing the wave in this pattern but wave essentially need not be like this and we are going to learn what does it mean by a wave and how many such types of waves are there and uh, examples of such waves and uh, which wave is confined to what type of uh, phenomenon all these things we are to learn and here only the thing i am going to give here is the definition of the wave definition of the wave is nothing but suppose a disturbance is produced here the disturbance has to be carried to the other point and these are the medium particles and these medium particles are not getting disturbed that means there is no actual movement of these particles but still the disturbance is transmitted to this how it is getting transmitted means it's a mechanism wave mechanism that means it is the method of transportation of energy from one region to the other region without the actual movement of the particles and here the doubt arises if medium is not present will the energy transmitted or not so there is a possibility that is the reason waves can be classified broadly into two types one is called mechanical wave the other one is called non mechanical wave so mechanical there are mechanical waves and non mechanical waves mechanical waves are those which require medium medium is required for this medium is required and medium is not required medium is not required so you can take this the example as here you can call the examples of this can be sound wave sound wave requires medium and uh, sitar string sitar string the waves produced on sitar string and uh, you can also look at that is vibrations on the string such things are the mechanical waves here they require the medium whereas coming to non mechanical waves medium is not required meaning that example radiation light received by earth from sun here light is a form of energy and from sun to the earth exactly to certain extent there is a medium but beyond that there is no medium but still the light is coming out of the sun and reaching the earth that is in the form of electromagnetic radiation it is called that's a different issue different topic but here our discussion is confined to what does it mean by a non mechanical wave a non mechanical wave is nothing but 
द मेथड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए वे वेर मीडियम इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सो लाइट ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम सन टू द अर्थ नीड नॉट रिक्वायर एनी मीडियम बट स्टिल द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस वेर एज इन केस ऑफ मेकेनिकल वेव मीडियम इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वेन एवर यू प्लग ए गिटार स्ट्रिंग यू विल हियर ए साउंड और द वेव इज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम वन एंड टू द अदर एंड वाइब्रेशन ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स sound sound is produced by means of a vocal cords rubbing of vocal cords which is coming out in the form of a wave it requires a medium so it is transported from speaker to the listener through a medium either a solid medium or a liquid medium or a gaseous medium whatever it is through air in general it travels through the air so air is the medium where sound is getting transported in general so sound is a mechanical wave so now about this sound we are to discuss in detail because our chapter is confined to sound so what is sound so to be simple i can call sound is a form of energy and it can be produced out of friction friction of vocal cords so vocal cords are when i am speaking the vocal cords are rubbing together and producing the sound that sound when it is coming out of my mouth is traveling to the listener by means of the air medium so sound is a form of energy now this energy has to be transmitted so how it is getting transmitted and all we have to learn and this is requiring a medium in the sense mechanical waves require medium that we have studied mechanical waves and these waves can be further classified into two types one is called as longitudinal wave and the other one is transverse so mechanical waves are again two types longitudinal and transverse so here longitudinal waves example i said the sound sound is a longitudinal sound is a longitudinal wave sound comes under longitudinal whereas vibration of a string vibration of a string is vibration of a string is the transverse so it comes under transverse whereas this comes under longitudinal so sound wave is a longitudinal so one point you need to remember here sound wave is a longitudinal wave longitudinal wave so the conclusion what we can make out out of entire discussion is in order to transfer the energy because sound is a form of energy and we are studying about the sound so to transfer the energy from one place to other place the transportation mechanism the method of transportation is in the form of a wave wave is nothing but a disturbance produced in medium which transfers the energy without the actual movement of the particles in which the disturbance is created that means it is traveling through the air medium where the particles are not actually moved they are vibrating from their mean positions that different issue but the actual movement is not there this disturbance is still transferred to the other end by means of a form called wave and these waves are two types one is mechanical the other one is non mechanical and mechanical waves require medium whereas non mechanical waves do not require any medium as an examples i have given sound and the vibration on string sitar string i have taken these waves are mechanical and the light which is coming out of the sun and reaching the earth is a non mechanical wave and here we are in particular to study about the sound that's the reason what is sound i am just looking at sound is a form of energy which is produced out of the friction or some other uh, mechanical aspects so sound comes under one category of mechanical wave called longitudinal wave that means mechanical waves can be further classified into two types one is longitudinal the other one is transverse here sound waves comes under longitudinal so what does it mean by a longitudinal wave and transverse wave the details of that we are to going to look at in the next video